do 30 kettlebell swings, 20 push-ups, and 15 dips. If you need to use something at home, you can use a chair or a box. Uh, we have these parallel bars that you use here. Uh, but again, a chair or a box is fine as long as you have enough range to do, perform your dip. Uh, we're going to do a double arm swing. Now, make sure you perform your double arm swing correctly. You want to make sure you stand up straight. You lock those hips out, glutes, hamstrings, abdominals, everything. If you're still not understanding it, come to a max fit class or a max fit program at the max out location and we can show you more advanced moves so you can perform better techniques at home. All right, so we're going to run up 30 double arm swings. Now make sure you warm up first. Jump row, run around in circles, whatever you need to do, get warmed up. Uh, 30 double arm swings, 20 push ups, and then 15 dips. And we're going to do that for 10 sets. So here we go. And 30 swings. Make sure you always look down the horizon so your eyes get a nice tilt on that bell. Pull the bell between your legs. Make sure your body is standing up straight. We'll show you again here. Every time I come up, I'm making my body completely straight. Tilt the bell down, stand up straight. Here, boom. Pulling that bell down. So we're going for 30. Now if your hands start getting slippery, put the bell down, or if you have chalk, make sure you put chalk in your hands to prevent for that bell to slip out of your hands. Okay, after that, 20 push-ups. I'll show you both versions. While Christy goes and does the push-ups, modify version of your knees, elbows underneath your shoulders, push up out, advanced version. Keep your body straight, because your push-up's gonna help you with the kettlebell swings. You don't want to slouch your body or bend your head. Keep it straight. Perform a technique straight. Don't go sloppy and try to do unnatural movements for, movements for the uh, push-up. Keep your body straight at all times like a plank. After that, 15 dips. Now feel your range of motion. If you feel like it hurts too much as you go down, just shorten the range or bring your knees up. Okay. The whole idea of dip is strength in the back of your arms up. So that completes one set. Set, you want to make sure you go through it 10 times. Again, after you're done with all three, take a break. Breathe into your nose, out your mouth. Come back strong. Attack it again. Hopefully you're done in 35 minutes.